Okay, we're here to show you how to install a stand-up spring or a PVC boot um, to a fixed point or a traveler car um, when, you, when attaching a block uh, to keep it up. So, uh, these small ones, tapered or untapered, pretty easy to compress. I could put it over the eye, hold it down by myself and shackle this. Not too much of a problem. You get into these medium-sized ones, it's two hands and a lot of pressure to hold that down and if you've got an assistant holding this down and then you're getting in there trying to shackle and pin there's too many fingers and hands there's just not enough room and it's very frustrating so let's take the frustration out enter zip ties so a couple of key things you can see on coil springs that they end there and they end there what you do not want to do is put the zip ties on this area you want to be on top of the last bit of the coil and when you turn it over make sure you're doing the same thing here so it's that area that you're going to initially put the uh, zip ties all right so i'm just going to get these started and then i'm going to confirm i'm in the right place and grab this other zip tie they've dropped key use three it will not work with two zip ties. All right, I've got these lined up. Now I'm just over top of this and I'm over top of that one. These are well positioned. I'll show you why that's important. Okay, there's no graceful way to do this. You just ratchet these down while you're compressing the spring. Okay. And this one. is you want these to be all of the same diameter so you notice they just slide to one place and we have to overcome that and you'll see the zip ties sitting on top and again no graceful way of doing this I'm going to slide it and it's going to pop over and off of that ridge and the same thing happens here it's going to pop off of the ridge that's on the lower spring you could hear that and now I've got them positioned, and I just need to ratchet it down just a little bit more. Don't let them slide out of place. Okay. You've just replaced two hands. Now you can do this by yourself. Simply install your shackle and put your spring over top. And I've got my clevis pin here. Post up. And grab my ring ding. Now, this is a standard ring ding. It doesn't have a little pigtail that makes it easy to start, so I've got to get my nail in there. And I'll just line this up. Okay. Rotate it through. Okay. And don't leave it up. Tuck it so it's inside the spring. Keep your fingers away. And I'm just going to cut these away. See how they slide to one side. As soon as one is released, that's why you need three, not two. And now you've got your stand-up spring installed all by yourself, frustration-free. Here I've got a fixed eye, and I want to attach this 57-millimeter block. So... Um, Got a couple things I need to do here. I need to, first of all, cinch this down, and again with three zip ties. Cue music. I know this is a little tedious, but to prevent further frustration, um, we're going to kind of take our time and do it right the first time. All right, so I've got all these in place. And I'm basically just going to smash this guy down and ratchet these in. And you notice, unlike the stainless springs, uh, these don't slide around. Uh, these boots are a PVC material, and they hold up well in the UV, and it makes this process a lot easier. Okay, now I'm a little challenged. How am I going to get the shackle up through here? I can't get to it with my fingers. Okay, another trick here. Um, what you want to do is 
install it, run another zip tie through it, okay, and don't pull it very far, pinch it, there we go, and what you do is just pull it like that and pop it through. Okay, once it's through, as long as this doesn't slide up the PVC boot, um, you don't have to really worry about losing the shackle at this point. So I'm just going to cut that. Yeah. Okay, now to install the block. And I've got the post lined up with the shackle. Start the clevis pen through one end of the shackle and right into the post, which I totally just missed. So let me realign it. All right, post down. Clevis pin in, come to the other side. It's sticking out nice and proud. I'm going to rotate the hole to an orientation that's going to be easiest for me to get the clevis pin into, or the uh, ring ding. And so I've got a standard ring ding here, uh, not a pigtail one that's got a little bent starter. So this forces me to get my nail in there and open it up kind of manually just to get this thing started. So I'm going to push the PVC down and the block over all at the same time and with a two finger grip I'm gonna get this guy right in there. Okay, I've got it started and I'm just rotating it. Oop, popped right out. Okay, one more time. And now it's started. And I just keep rotating it. Okay. And now what you want to do is not leave the ring up. You want to force the PVC to the side and tuck it and pull this up over it. Okay. And final stage. This is the more rewarding. Don't nip the PVC boot. And just carefully cut away. Pull these out. And you've got a stand-up block, and you've got one that is going to repel lines. Now you know how to install stand-up boots and stand-up springs with very limited frustration. For this and more information, visit us at APSLTD.com.